You're right there, YouTube is Crackoon again, bringing you another gameplay. <sighs> Comment saying, man, we're here again, bringing you some first ever Medal of Honor Warfighter to my channel. Obviously, playing on the same generic beta map over and over again. I say generic because relatively, it is generic. Well, it is relatively generic, sorry. Because I pretty much learned the map within the first game. It's not even hard. I'll give him that. I will give him that. Map play style is superb. Superb. The way the action funnels, you know, don't get me wrong, there's gonna there's a corners obviously for campers to camp in. Campers are always gonna find corners. But the way the map flows and the way it funnels down into certain areas of the map and engagements in which they like conflict as such, it's a, it's really good map design wise for that factor alone if all the maps in Medal of Honor Warfighter uh, when it, well when the full games released are to the same kind of standard as what I'm seeing now map design wise and keeping the action fast paced with rushing routes and funneling the action down to help me get like triple feeds and shit like that you know what I'm saying if that keeps on happening on that basis alone I'd buy the game because it, it's just I really I really enjoy when the game style is always pushing and moving and fluid and not camping back and you know just all the time non-stop rush action that's what it is and the map design I'm, I'll give them that it's extremely good as for my uh, class obviously using the SES Assaulter you know British I uh, thank you uh, on top of that I'll be using the DDM4 V1 or something like that it's an M4 variant I mean I've got like the first scope on it uh, it's pretty much the very first standard gun that you get because this gameplay is actually maybe my third fourth game that I'd actually had uh, I was running with a few people as well so it well you'll see anyway when the end of the gameplay comes but I'm running in the solo fire team so, you know, I kind of just end up going on a little beasting streak about now. You'll see exactly what I mean anyway as the gameplay, uh, the gameplay progresses and stuff like that. But, taking me back, this is probably what it's going to be. Uh, taking me back to the topic anyway, this is probably what it's going to be. I'm going to run down through the game, my thoughts, my opinions of the game so far. So far? So far. Comparisons as such. How I feel about the game and, you know, just generally my initial impressions and initial thoughts of this beta um graphic style aesthetically and I said this yesterday kind of in a tweet but I made the compa well I'll just go to the comparison straight away to me this game Medal of Honor Warfighter feels like home front on close quarters maps literally it is I don't know it's really really frustrating in a way because I, I enjoyed Homefront thoroughly and the fact now that this game has come out and it feels and plays so much like Homefront graphically wise it looks like Homefront these all these facts coming together are making me frustrated because Homefront didn't really get taken like you know didn't really get exposure within the community it didn't really take off or anything like that don't get me wrong it had his limelight for a bit but it's probably not gonna have as much limelight as I think it should have and it's probably not gonna have as much limelight as I think Medal of Honor will have when it's fully released Um, <coughs> I don't know I don't know I'm not <laughs> I don't wanna really like get like caught up on like shit from the past comparisons and such like that but the fact behind it is this game has already been released it has already been released as Homefront, you could go buy Homefront now and experience the same stuff on a greater scale which you're experiencing now in the middle of on a Warfighter beta. I said it, I'm not lying, I mean the game now is like fucking £15 UK, $20 US maybe, maybe less. Probably get it for like $10, maybe less, maybe like £5 if you got it used, I don't know. But, that factor alone, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. It feels it feels so much like Homefront. I can't see myself buying it just because I've already got Homefront 
with a load of DLC, like 120 Microsoft Point DLC as well on top of that, to add myself a few extra close quarters maps. You know what I'm saying, like Alcatraz as such. But hey, anyway, this is my first time getting the highest kill streak on the SES Assaulter class, so it's the Apache Gunner. Not gonna lie, it felt like this Apache Gunner belonged in 007 Goldeneye for the N64. No shit if I cut and edited it, edited it, cut and edited it down together with some N64 Goldeneye gameplay. It probably would match very well. Don't get me wrong, it felt horrific flying this Apache Gunner. I didn't even realise you didn't have unlimited ammo until now. And it's my last final two rockets and I'm just like, well, I'll just shoot him anyway. And then I end up getting shot while I'm in the chopper. And then I die. And then I respawn back in. So I don't know. That was enough of the GoldenEye N64 chopper. But I don't know, man. I'll run it down to you. Quick five points. Aesthetics wise, it's not really that good. Don't get me wrong. This ain't no battle for your free stunner. Gameplay wise, is like supreme supreme gameplay wise it flows like call of duty and it feels like home front home front i never think it like flowed like call of duty did like with action orientated with map design and such like that this does this does and i think the action orientatedness does come down to the map design within medal of honor as well so you know weapons wise as in customizability They've got it all, really. You know, it's the same kind of EA kind of Battlefield-esque type customization. You can go in-depth, probably even more in-depth with this. Could you get, a, like, a close-up analysis? Like, no, not analysis. Picture of your gun so you see exactly what you're putting on it. It's kind of like a, uh, a Ghost Recon kind of style of putting together your guns and all oh, different attachments with different barrels, different muzzles, different magazine styles, different custom paint jobs, you know, loads and loads of shit you can do, scopes, optics, whatever it is, whatever, stocks, you know, whatever, you can do everything, you can pretty much do everything, and I really like that about it, to be fair, I really like the customizability. And then, you know, going back to another comparison between that and Homefront, in Homefront there was hardly any weapons, no, re not really much customizability. So this is where it'll probably get one up on it. Um, I, I I don't know. I mean, the commentary is kind of wrapping up to the end now. I mean, these are all my opinions and my thoughts of the game. Don't get me wrong. I do like the game. If I didn't like the game, I probably wouldn't even be bringing you this gameplay. That's just a simple factor of it. But at the same time as that, you know, I beasted them off. The game's easy. I mean, I'm a COD Battlefield 3 veteran, literally. I've got all the skills that kills, that pay the bills. That rhyme was cheesy as fuck. Um, yeah. Make your own decision. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below because literally, I had the analysis of this being related to Homefront literally with, after my first game of playing it and I went boom, tweeted out. Homefront equals, no. Medal of Honor equals home front on close quarters maps. Had that shit tweeted like, boom. Initial thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. That's all i got to say for now. Peace.